Hey guys, welcome to a new video. We are playing Winter Survival. How are we doing guys? So, what I am doing is, I'm actually going to start playing this game once again. I've actually played this game for a very little uh, bit of time, um, a few months back when they had the initial open beta test for this game for the Android users. Now there's been some time that has passed. They've had a open beta test specifically for iOS users and I believe now they should have the open beta test for both platforms running at the moment. Now I'm guessing this is just a server stress test to see how both platforms handle the game and how that game server handles both of those platforms accessing the servers and playing the game. So there have been some changes, there has been some updates. Now we don't know what they are exactly, but we're going to find out and we're going to see visually and mechanically how the game has changed from the initial beta test. Now I've already set up my guy, so we're going to go ahead and go start. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's going to be a bit of scripting here. So I won't talk briefly for a minute. So I just want to see how that goes. And if there's nothing that's changed, then we'll get right into it. My raw name already exists, okay. So I did try to play the game beforehand, and that's probably the reason for that. But let's see if we can go ahead once more. And as you can see, you've got the attention notice there. Okay, so that gives a very strong Game of Thrones vibe just by reading that if you guys had read that. If you need to, please go back and um, rewind that, pause it if you need to, and check it out. Um, as you can see, very, very similar to how the game was initially played. Like I said, I'll have it linked somewhere throughout the video so you guys can check out the initial video if you want to check that out. But let's have a look and let's do our little bits and pieces here. So this is pretty much what the initial um, game had. They gave us a little starting tutorial. So as you can see, there's really not much that you can do here. To be honest, you don't want to fight any of these guys here. There's way too many of them here. So you're, what you're best off doing is just running um, and keep on running until you get to the end. As you can see, there's a lot of enemies that are just coming out of it um, everywhere. You've got the undead around here as well as you're sort of running away from that castle. So yeah, best thing to do is just keep running and get over to where the bridge is over here. And let's jump over, keep crossing. As you can see, they are coming out of the bridges. And then we've got our friend over here that we're going to meet up with. Let's go ahead and grab the items that we've got here and start chopping away. So basically we're going to try and stop the undead coming over from um, across the bridge and he's going out there just to sort of buy us a bit of time whilst this is getting chopped up. Uh, there we go. And unfortunately he got a spear to the back and he's no longer with us. So let's go ahead and open up this end here. All right, and we are in the next part of the tutorial. So it's gonna tell us that we're just gonna keep on getting a few bits and pieces here. Um, so a few items, just pick them all up. Oop. You still have to wait until it reaches 100%, so that really hasn't changed. And I think you can chop this down. If I'm not mistaken, okay, so it's just going to ask us to open up the blueprint here. So we'll tap onto that, let's go learn, and let's go ahead and craft that. Okay, beautiful. 
and let's go ahead and use that and close. So for the purpose of the tutorial, we're just going to continue on and just grabbing everything for now. Um, next, it's telling us to do the simple tent. So we'll go ahead and open, well craft that, open that up and use. And let's get into the tent. So we're just going to stay out of the blizzard until it gets um, a lot more calmer. And from there, we should be able to uh, progress on and get out of this tutorial. I wanted to show the guys the tutorial again anyway, just to give you a bit of difference if you guys have played with this beforehand. Or seeing from my last video that I made of this, uh, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an idea. Now, my best recommendation with this, if you can, just continue to um, well, utilize your time effectively and just see if you can pick up any bits and pieces um, before moving over to the um, <coughs> excuse me the uh, main area or your over map if you will so I just want to quickly make sure that I've gotten everything from here because it's free loot and you're gonna need all the free loot that you can get before um, you are uh, wanting to progress on so basically just continue on as you are and just grab everything like I think I've got everything here anyway so there's really not much to grab I know in the previous previous um, build of the game there's a lot more um, items that you can grab so yeah you just continue on and we're basically just gonna leave the zone Okay, so just giving you a little bit more of a guide there. So day one, let's go and claim our day one, uh, sorry, day one rewards. And look, while we're here, let's stop, let's have a look and see what we have now because we haven't had this beforehand uh, in the earlier beta release. So you get daily login re uh, rewards. So yeah, you're best off just uh, logging in daily just to claim these things. So every seven days look like you get a decent set of armor. Then obviously you've got the purchasing of the items here. I'm not too sure if there's a free uh, thing that you can watch and add so you can get free little um, items or anything like that. So I don't see anything like that right now. Uh, base building, as we've got it here, pretty self-explanatory resources if you need it. Crafting, however, to be honest, you probably want to look at that as an option here because it looks like you can get a couple of um, uh, backpacks, military backpack will probably be a good shout. So I might end up just purchasing that and I want to support the developers anyway because they've been on this game and they are doing some good things. So I feel like this game's got a bit of uh, potential here so I might as well go get that introductory pack just because of the backpack there primarily anyway. And then you've got your experiences there if you need them anyway. Cool. So we are in our, this would be our home zone. So I've got a few things here. Um, before I do any of that, let's just quickly check out. Oh, okay. Okay. So let's equip this. There we go. And let's just take all. What I probably should have done is I probably should have kept him there, left one item behind, and maybe should have used that as a bigger um, uh, loot chest. Well, that doesn't matter. And I've just noticed that my sword has actually gone back to quarter durability, which is quite disappointing because that was a full durable sword at the beginning of the game. So not too sure what that's about there. I don't know if the developers can look at that, if there was like a bug or a glitch or something or other. But anyway... We're just going to uh, make our way through and we will uh, attack some uh, zombies here and there. Okay, so he just dies. That's fine. Just thought I could loot him for a second there. There's a fox. Nice. 
Um, definitely take all the meats and all that sort of good stuff. Um, looks like it's been redesigned, the actual map itself. So it's also a little bit more um, aesthetically pleasing to the eye there. So that's always a good plus. I just want to clear out my... Uh, my home zone here just so I can well there's a few of these guys here my goodness is this this is definitely a home zone pretty sure it is um, okay so we can't really get to any of these guys here you got a deer there you got another zombie over here okay there goes our um, our unfortunate um, weapons so <coughs> let's see if we can Okay, so we've got a spear, so let's go ahead and equip that. That's full durability, which is good. I probably should have kept the, um, the sword anyway, but that doesn't matter. So that's fine. And let's go over here, take out this zombie villager and this guy here. So we're just pretty much cleaning house at the moment. Just getting our base on the safer side. So there's a fair amount of deer here, which is actually good. The base actually looks really, really big, to be honest with you. Um, and that's a good thing. So I'm, I'm guessing that they're putting towards um, expansion or having expansion in mind further down the line there. So we might be able to have our like our own mini sort of fortress or kingdom, if you will. Um, I've been wanting to know what that is. It's a round egg. That's a map. Doesn't give me the description. There we go, strange rock. Not gonna lose it when you get killed. Oh, okay. And uh, map a village of Burke. Okay. Oop, oop, been attacked. There's a fox here. Um, yes, I wanted to take that. And I want to take that. So let's just go over here, just see if there's anyone that I need to kill. There's another zombie. Okay. So apparently there's some sort of cooldown. Okay. And let's just take everything that we can. Take this out, the zombie here. And I do not have any sort of armor, which is not good. And let's just take him out. Level wise, level five for now at the moment. We'll definitely jump into the um into the crafting menu and I'll show you guys what's about for that. But right now I'm being double teamed with a couple of enemies. Let's just take out this wolf real quick. Um, will I die? Oh, no, 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 you don't want to do that. Uh, so let's just take off for now. We've got a zombie that's after us. Let's go ahead and grab some of these berries if I can. Um, so I doubt I'm going to get, <coughs> excuse me, I doubt I'm going to get any sort of um, deers at the moment and I'm probably best off just grabbing what I can over here. So I do remember this being a issue in the earlier game that I've played that heal uh, food and all that sort of stuff it has been or was. Um, a difficult thing to sort of come across by once you've sort of gotten a, a bit of a handle on how the mechanics work and what to sort of look out for you should be okay um, but for now we're just going to sort of just run around real quick I'm just gonna grab everything that I can over here and then just get some heals up um, oop, no that's a fox Alright, so what I'm going to do is, to prevent myself from dying, I'm just going to run out of the zone. Hopefully they will reset themselves so they don't come running at you again. Um, but welcome to the overmap here. Okay, so this has actually changed a little bit from the previous build. So I've actually haven't seen this before myself and this is the first time that I am checking it out. Uh, but what, as you can see, there are a few zones that have not been detailed here, and that's probably more or less so they um, uh, for future uh, updates and things like that. We've got 
the A3 skull zone over here. We're obviously not going to go into here today or for a little while longer, but we've got the frozen harbour over here. Um, so, you can find, find, uh, so before the harbour was frozen, we could find beautiful goods from all over the place. Now we don't know where it could be uh, navigable. Uh, we don't know when it could be navigable again. Anyway. Uh, okay, so after being killed, the backpack resources corpse will be retained. Oh, well, that's cool. So at least this sort of tells you um, if you die in a certain zone, it'll tell you if you're able to recover your body. So whatever's in red, you're not going to recover. So that's a cool. That's a good thing. I like that. Uh, Pine needle stone forest. What have I got over up here? We've got a large abandoned iron mountain. Three skull right there. We've got the medium coppered mountain. So obviously coppers in the game. Ooh, there's a volcano over here. Have a look at this. So the developers have been putting in the time to get. Ooh, there's a dragon skeleton over there. That's going to probably be a future zone. Um, what else we got here? And we've got what, what it sort of appears to be. Um, these guys as rendition of the wall for you for you Game of Thrones fans out there so check that out that looks pretty cool uh, I'm not gonna lie to you another zone there if you do die that you can go back and find your body and then we've got our camp there so right now let's just quickly go back in and see if anything has been if they're still coming at you or anything like that uh, I don't think that's the case so which is good um, I've got these berries here, so let's just quickly go ahead and eat those. And I think we say for the minute. Okay, so I don't see anyone coming in here. Um, bed is broken, but it can be repaired. So it's telling us we just need some basic resources to get our bed back up and operational again. What have we got here? Um, a storage chest. I guess we'll take that. Speaking of which... Let's grab our chest here and use that. And I don't know where that was used to. Hang on. Oh no, it's giving me more items. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Um, that's, yeah, <laughs> definitely. There's a storage chest, obviously. So we've got a large storage chest here. So I'm going to pop over a few items here just to get these things out of the way. Um, mithril, let's get rid of that. Let's pop that over there. Let's put that over there. Uh, notes, okay. And with a broken piece of paper, can we use that? Here we go. So in the recent years, winters ha have been getting longer and longer, which is not a good sign. It's said that undead villains who represent death are uh, pounding internal fortress, are pounding internal fortress at the all the time okay I believe they will arrive here one day I don't think humans are capable of fighting against them and need to find more powerful forces luckily we found some clues from an ancient book of village of Burke it's about the ancient royal dragon clan I think the dragon must not be extinct fellows mockery family misunderstanding and damn weather are driving me crazy the world needs prophets and I want it to be it okay and can we use the diary? I finally found a strange stone village of Berg, which has a red and probably a dragon egg, which was red and probably a dragon egg. I finally did it after so many years of research. I should go on to see if there's any literature, literature explaining on how to hatch it. Uh, hatch is probably spelled incorrectly, but anyway. <laughs> Just to have to be very careful about those damn undead. If it hadn't been for them, I was in the secret room last time. The color of the wall is obviously different from the others. So that's sort of like a clue to a ancient ruin. So with that being said, um, this is going to be our base of operations. So we've got some things here that we're going to be able to... Well, I guess um, get ourselves back and built up this little base here so that's pretty much it let's go ahead and check out our building crafting menu 
So right now, what we've got accessible to us is these two guys here. We're gonna learn these guys pretty soon. The spear, absolutely. Gonna to need to do that, because that's gonna be the easiest thing for us to craft. Then we've got some basic um, uh, clothing that we can use. And then we've got our little simple storage pit that we're gonna be needing to craft up as well. So we've got the initial one for now, and we'll have that uh, ready just to sort of take on any sort of other things that we need to sort of stockpile, I guess. Um, and then furthermore, then we've got the loom, the cooking racks there, a bone spear, me dry, the uh, carpentry table, stonework table. So pretty standard for this type of genre of survival game. So um, it's gotten a bit of a Frostborn element. If you guys have played the multiplayer Frostborn from Kefir, um, <coughs> excuse me, check that out. Um, if you guys haven't done so already, so very very um, close vibe to this, but it's sort of bringing its own element To be honest, this is the PvE version of that game Winter setting survival game, but you don't need to worry about multiplayer aspect or anything like that um, And then as you continue to go on you've just got improved weapons and things like that clothing as you can see and eventually if we sort of get down there you've got some with locked chains that we're not going to probably be able to get for a while or it's just something that's good, not going to be in development and then you've got the um you've got a dawn sword here look at all the stuff that you need for that sort of stuff that looks absolutely crazy so crystals are going to be available or made available in the game unless if they change the recipe um, we've got little cog wheels and things like that certain logs as you can see and you've got these type of nails as well so as you can see yeah springs I don't know what that is there, you can't really, oh there you can, it was a hard leather, okay cool, um, and yeah, and what else have we got here, this would be tin ingots, that would be copper, cooper, if you will, I think they just sort of might, might need to um, do a couple little spell checks here and there, so, um, so we've got that, uh, what type of ingot is this, steel, this should be your iron of course, I think that's cog, was it precision parts? Okay, that's what they're calling it. And you got fishing wire, and this would be some sort of leather. Cool. And what else? Anything that sort of you know just jumps out of interest. I just sort of thought I'll just quickly show you guys anyway. But I think that's going to be it for now. Just a quick overview of the base, the menu system here. Um, and then we've got. Um, okay, so end points by completing the survival manual tasks. Complete the task for the previous uh, phrase so the next one can be triggered and the generous rewards can be claimed. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So we've got a survival system. We've got a little quest line that we can follow. And these are the rewards or type of rewards that we can receive as we progress along. So... 54 is the highest, as you can see. And you've got, I'm um, from level one at the moment. And these are the obtainable things that we can get. And I think we can claim those, which is great. And these will be sent to the mailbox. Personally, I'd probably be thinking at this point is just leaving your mailbox as your own personal storage without having to sort of harbor these items unless if you need them for whatever reason or if you're basically have um, developed your base and you've got enough storage then naturally you'd want to do that not too sure what this full version is about oh, okay so donate a few bucks for the full version of the manual where the rewards are more enticing if you guys are enjoying yourself with this game and you really want to um, support the developers that would be a, an excellent way just to do just that but my character's going to die of hunger, so I'm actually going to get or let that happen. And at least this way, um, I'll sort of start fresh with full health and all that sort of good stuff. So I'm just going to put that away. Let's quickly use this as well and just quickly have a bit of a read before he dies. Now, <coughs> excuse me, there is a clear difference. Oh, no, I'm dead. So, revive in situ. I don't know what that means. Uh, camp revive. Um, the latest dead body will be preserved if you get killed twice in a row. Only the latest body, okay, dead body will be preserved. Okay, no problem. 
Anyway, there is a clear difference between this valley and other places. Temperature is high here. So, uh, we can go see some relics and red scales. I guess that those were probably the scales of the fire dragon. The circle shaped building is probably the dragon's nest. Besides, raising dragons can change the temperature around the area. Not sure how it works. Maybe it's because the uh, faces that contains the element of fire, which is whimsical. Okay. So there, there you have it guys. Um, I'm gonna end it here. Appreciate you guys uh, checking it out and watching the video. Best thing that you can do with this for me guys, if you can, is please like the video and share my video here. Um, that would be the best thing that you can do to um, help the channel grow and myself growing as well at the same time. If you can do that for me, that'd be much appreciated. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Take it easy and I will catch you in another video.